Well, well, well. Here's another comment. Okay. The title is going to be, Do Not Confuse Lust with Love by God. Okay. Do not confuse lust of Satan with the love of God. Okay. Because we have um, a lot of sexual lusts and lustful spirits out in the world today. Okay. Um, Satan, since he is out running, roaming about, there has been pornography. There has been um, lustful images in the media eye. There has been um, lustful addiction to these type of spirits since huh, Satan has brainwashed a lot of people to think this way. Okay. So I'm going to read this comment. Okay. I want to I want to get to the point to where I'm about to go with this. So I'm going to read this comment right quick. This was on my um a true marriage is only ordained by God video, by the way. So Ivy Ivy said you have to be attracted to each other, else how can you even kiss each other? No attraction indoor wanted. Okay. She's worried about more of the attraction than the by spirit of the Holy Ghost. This is where a lot of people, okay, go wrong in marriage. To be honest with you. Because they lust more through the looks, the, the vanity. Rather than what's in the spirit of the heart. Okay. That's why a lot of marriages are failing. Because. Long as that lustful demon is continuing. The marriages will fail. Because what goes on is. The man or the woman that is lustful. Will continue to cheat with more people. And their attraction to it. Okay. Their attraction. Oh I got to be attracted to this person. This is actual a lustful, a demon, okay? Now, in the Holy Ghost, God, um, when he ordained a person in the Holy Spirit, it's, it's, it's legit, okay? You will be actually happy in the Spirit of God with that person that he ordained because you are both on one accord with the Father, okay? But Satan have taught these people. That if you ain't attracted to the person, you can't be with that person. Lies. They get with these people. Okay, they're attracted by lust. They get with these people by lust. And they cannot seem to work out their relationship. Why? Because Jesus is not in there. Jesus is not their head. They've been attracted to them by lustful images of their lustful eye. They all say, oh, beauty is the eye of the beholder. Now, I'm going to show you a verse. Okay, I'm going to show you a verse about vanity, and I'm going to show you a verse about looking upon flesh, okay? Because this is where y'all going wrong at. Satan have taught y'all looks is important. God taught y'all, no, it ain't. Your heart is, see? So I'm going to put... Look, let's see. Upon okay, because see, beauty is in vain, it always has been. Let's see, let's go here. Escalators 25, 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her, not for pleasure. Okay. See, that's all lust. Escalators 9, 8. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For herewith love is a kindle as a fire. Do not look upon the beauty of Okay, you can be deceived that way. So when you get in a relationship, 
you are what? You're not, it's not working because see, you are more looking at the outward appearances of people more than you're looking at the heart. Okay. God, when he ordained, okay, like he did with Joseph and Mary, the Holy Ghost literally came to Joseph. Okay, the Spirit of God literally came to Joseph and said, "Go to Mary, for she is going to be buried with the whole, uh, with the baby of Jesus Christ, the King." Okay, the Holy Ghost is going to cleanse her out to birth Jesus. So that's how they got together because they were on one accord, one accord together to work together for Jesus. Okay, this is a true marriage indeed. If you only serve in God, but if you're lusting, you see, lust don't last, you know, it don't last. You, you, you lust after one person, then you lust after another, 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 then you lust after another. Then you lust after another. That is a demonic spirit. These demons are lustful and what they do, they make you lust upon strange flesh. That's why God tell you not to heed to your flesh. You're supposed to crucify that flesh. You're supposed to not heed to it, okay? But a lot of you seem to not get that, okay? Y'all have been brainwashed by Satan to think beauty is everything. Pretty much. You got a lot of plant surgery out here where they deceiving people, okay? Deceiving people that they think they have natural bodies. What'd that tell you? You got man transforming to women, women transforming to men. What that tell you? There's a lot of deception out here. And hey, this is the type of stuff you don't want to be involved with. Okay? More, more deception of man than anything. And God tell us told us not to give in to that. Let's put vanity. Okay, I'm gonna put vanity so y'all can show y'all that scripture how evil that is. Vanity upon vanity. Put uh, King James. I'm going to go to King James real quick. So y'all can see how evil. Okay, I'm going to read this. Escalate is one. The words of a preacher is the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of vanity, said the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit had a man of all his labor which he had taken under the sun? One generation passeth away, another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and has it to the place where he rose. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It rolled about a continuing, and the wind returned again according to its circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full unto the place from hence. The rivers come thither, they return again. All things are full of labor, man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear, ear filled with hearing. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, that which shall be done. There is no new thing under the sun. Okay, Is there anything whereof it may be said, see this is new, it have been already of old time which was before us. So there is nothing new. Okay, there's no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be remembrance of things that are to come and those that shall come after. Okay, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under the heaven. This sore travel had God given the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold, all is vanity and a vexation of spirit that which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. Okay. I commune with my own heart saying, Lo, I come to great estate, have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom and much grief, it that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So, all vanity and vexation of spirit. Okay. So that is that is evil. Okay. So I'm gonna put let me put this. Vanity. Okay. 
and James. It's Galatians 6 4. But he coming in with, in with vanity and departed in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness. Okay? Vanity is covered with darkness. Escalades 8.14 There is a vanity which is done upon the earth that there be just men unto whom it happened according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happened according to the work of the righteous. I said that this is also vanity. Okay. Vanity. Escalator 6. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun and is common among men. A man to whom God have given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanted nothing for his soul for all of all that it, he desired. Yet God had given him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eat it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. Do y'all see that? If a man beget in a hundred children and live many years, so the days of his years be man, many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also they have no bearer, I say that an unt 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 untimely birth is better than he. But he come in with vanity. And depart in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness. An evil disease, vanity. So, to, re to talk about that comment about being attracted to a person. It can deceive your eye. Okay? Lusting after the beauty of people can be deceiving because you are not looking at the spirit of the person you're looking at their outward appearance and god tell you not to judge by the outward appearance but judge by the heart and when you judge by the heart you will be able to see who is with god and who isn't but if you are judging by the outward appearances then you will be deceived to think that person is okay because you love the look when really you have not judged that soul and that spirit so when you get with that person, you're like, oh, I thought that person was okay. I, I never thought. You never thought because you're looking at, too busy looking at the outward appearances of man. You ain't never judged that spirit and that heart yet. Your first attraction was lust. See? And that's where they go wrong at. A lot of people. They go wrong with the lustful, demonic spirit. That lead them astray to deception. And that's how a lot of relationships don't work out. Because the lustful spirits. Now if people will not give in to these lustful spirits. Then their, see, their relationships will work. But a lot of times these people give in to these lustful spirits and call it love. That's deceiving their eye. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify about this comment. She's talking about oh but you got to be attracted to kiss each other. Well. When it comes to Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit is never wrong. Okay? He's the righteous God that um, bestowed everything on this land. So, he's the righteous God. When, when he does things, it's pretty much legit. Okay? But Satan, when he does things, is not. It's like deception. You think it's good, but it ain't. You know? So, that's where y'all have to discern that. You cannot go out here judging by appearances thinking that's okay. Okay? That will deceive your eye even more. Okay? Attraction by the beauty of, of lustful beauty, vanity, which is an evil disease, disease among men, will get you. Okay? So, it's best to discern by spirit by spirit so you so you know who is righteous for God. Capiche? So, serve this word here, people. Do not go out here lusting after strange flesh. That will get you every time. Okay? There's a lot of lustful demons out here, and people are heeding to it. That's deceiving you. Okay? That's literally deceiving you. Seek this word here. Jesus Christ is God.